Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. You might have think, thought you were having technical difficulties, but in fact, I was just playing a little joke on you. Because after all, this is the listening chapter. And wouldn't it be funny if you couldn't listen to the video that I made that was a lecture for this week's chapter? I think that would be quite amusing, personally. Anyway, hi, I'm Patrick. I'm here to talk to you about Chapter 7, a little bit about listening. And specifically, I want to talk about the seven uh, common listening barriers. Uh, seven or eight, depending on how you like to count. Uh, the chapter groups them into seven groupings, although there's really eight. So let's go through these one by one. The first listening barrier is noise. Now there's two types of noise. There's the noise outside, like sirens and loud music, but the most important kind of noise is probably right up here in your head. The noise inside your head is probably the noise that's going to distract you more than anything. The next listening barrier we have Oh, by the way, that includes things like being hungry, uh, being distracted by something else going on, just like I was distracted just now by something I saw over on my screen, and the noise inside my head caused me to not realize I hadn't finished explaining what noise was. So that's what noise is, internal and external. Next we have pseudo-listening. Pseudo-listening is pretending to listen, and it looks something like this. You've probably done this before. In fact, you've probably done it on a daily basis. You, you're pretending to be listening. You're actually moving your head, but you're not listening at all. Uh, this this pseudo-listening can be very problematic because you don't actually hear what's being said. The next one, which is part of the same section as pseudo-listening, is called selective attention. This is hearing only part of what is being said. It might be combined with pseudo-listening. You might be going like this and hear some of what is said, but you don't hear everything. This is a very, very common problem because a lot of times we only hear what we want to hear or we only hear certain parts of messages and then when they don't get across, we have problems later on. The next one we have is information overload. That is when too much information is given all at one time. While our brain can process a lot of information, it doesn't want to process too much because, let's be honest, our brain can only do so much at one time. So information overload is an issue. The next one is called glazing over. This is what glazing over looks like. It looks kind of like daydreaming. Nothing's happening up here. Glazing over is different than pseudo listening, and people often mistake these, but there is a big difference. Glazing over is a nothing going on, no pretending to listen whatsoever. It's just you are glazed. Pseudo listening is pretending to listen, and that's the big difference there. The next one we have is rebuttal tendency. Rebuttal tendency is when somebody is talking, and in our minds we already disagree, and so we start thinking of something to say back. When we do that, we stop listening to what the other person is saying. That's clearly a big problem. Next, we have closed-mindedness. It's kind of like uh, rebuttal tendency, but what happens is we uh, disagree with, with what somebody is saying, and so we immediately stop listening altogether. We're not even necessarily coming up with a reply. We're just done listening. We shut down. We're closed-minded. It's over. And the final listening uh, barrier is called competitive interrupting. This is something we all do. Somebody's saying something, and we suddenly realize we have something to say back, and so we interrupt what that person is saying. Competitive interrupting is obviously a big problem in our society. So those are the seven or eight barriers, depending on how you want to count. Uh, I hope you understand that. There are some questions to answer right below this box, so enjoy answering those questions. Ha, just kidding. One more time. That was just me pretending there was no sound, but in fact there was sound. How many people got fooled by that, I wonder? Probably a lot. Have a great day, everybody. Bye!